Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect Oculus Quest controller, okay? How to connect your Oculus Quest controller. In case if you have an Oculus Quest and your controller gets bad and you buy a new controller, how you're going to pay your new controller to your headset. This is exactly what happened to me. My headset controller, the right controller got bad. So when I was ordering for my MSI laptop, I also ordered for a new right controller. Since over a month or two months now, I have not done anything in VR. I have not made any video about new games or new application in virtual reality Oculus. Okay, Oculus Quest. So this is the controller. This is my right controller, the one that is bad. If I put this battery now, it will start vibrating and it doesn't take time it takes only just one minute it will run a brand new battery down but this left controller is good so what i purchased is the right controller i looked for it in computer village but it has no oculus quest controller in computer village okay so i ordered for it from us so i'm going to open this All right since i bought it i have not even opened it so i just left it so here is the controller all right wow you can see how it's packaged because it's a very fragile stuff so it doesn't really need to fall down Let me check. Wow, exactly the same with my formal controller. Exactly the same thing. So this is Oculus Quest One controller, and I'm going to pair this controller with my Oculus Quest. Okay, this is my old one that vibrates. So we're going to go through the pairing now. Let me show you guys how to pair your new Oculus Quest um, controller. Oh, there's a battery inside of it. Okay. Let me leave the battery. Okay, the, okay see, there's a light that comes up. So you guys can see that the light is blinking. There's a light, once you tap, Oculus controller, the light will come up and it's not vibrating. But this one, if I put battery, it will start vibrating on a regular, okay? So the very first thing you need to do is put on your Oculus Quest, power it on and let your Oculus Quest headset boot, okay? My headset is already powered on, All right? It's on, I can see right inside. And make sure you have, um, Oculus Quest app, which is called MetaQuest, installed in your iPhone or your Android phone. In Oculus Quest, you have to sign in with your Facebook. Likewise, in iPhone, you must have a, um, an Apple account, iTunes account or something. Then Android, you must also have to sign in in your Android store before you can download app but in Oculus you must use your Facebook to sign in so the next thing we are going to do now is to open the Oculus Quest um, application right in my Android phone so let's go and search for Oculus Quest, but it's now Meta Quest. So what we're searching for is Meta. So here is it. It has popped up. Right. Let's wait. Okay. You guys can see. Click here in Meta Quest. You can see nearby. Click on this. Let's see. Connecting. You guys can see that 
is now showing connected. So you can see headset has battery left controller which is this and the right controller which is this. So you guys can see that the headset is has battery connected, left controller is showing green and the right controller the last time it was um, 10 or 5 percent so the battery is down. There's no battery in the right controller which is um, the old one which is this. There's no battery but it's showing the last um, um, battery life that um, Oculus detected on it. So what we're going to do now is let's go back and go to the home page. Now you see this um, button down extreme right click on it once you click on it make sure that your headset is powered on click on device once you click on device you can see meta quest connected click on it once you click here come down here and see app library and go to the next one headset setting okay once you click on headset setting go to controllers you can see pair new controller is it right or left controller that you want to pay? You can see pay MetaQuest left controller, pay MetaQuest right controller, then click on right controller. And once you click on right controller, hold on right controller. You can see it's saying you should press, press and hold the Oculus and um, B button until the light starts blinking and you feel the controller vibrate. Okay, that is what we're going to do. We're going to like hold this Oculus button, okay, and the B button, which is at the top. So hold this down, hold this down. So you guys can see that it's now showing right controller paired. Okay, so which means this controller has now been paired. So what we need to do now is, is click on next. And that's it. So I'm going to put on the headset and check if this controller is working. All right, I can see my hand. Okay, you guys should hold on. Let me do a recording. Record. Start recording. Close. So you guys can see that I have um, the Oculus Quest right controller working very well wow so my oculus quest right controller is back you guys can see my right hand and my left hand so that is it so guys i hope this um meanwhile if because i experienced the problem while i was doing this okay so in case delete every app on my phone for this it's called so in case if you try to so in case if you open your oculus meta quest app in your phone and it's telling you that it's not connected and you try to connect it to your headset because i experienced that what you need to do is delete the app and reinstall the app then sign in with your facebook account which is also signed in in your oculus quest then reconnect it your headset will automatically detect um, the application in your iphone or your android please bear in mind that if you're connecting your oculus quest headset to the application in your iphone to the meta quest application in your iphone or your android make sure that the iphone or your android or whichever phone that you're using to do the connection both the headset and the phone must be connected on the same wi-fi don't use hotspots let it be on a router or a wi-fi don't use your phone hotspot to connect your oculus quest let the both device be connected on the same wi-fi via wi-fi not via hotspots please this is very very important because without that it will not connect it will not work if you have any question please drop your question in the comment section below this video or any comment 
feel free to drop a comment or ask any question and from now you guys will be getting updates on new apps games and other things that is happening in virtual reality space so if you find this video helpful please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're watching my video for the first time my name is asuka nakinsley and on this channel i give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant tips that helps in our daily online space but during the weekend i make sure i give you updates on new games and app in the virtual reality space so if you wouldn't want to miss any of my content make sure you're subscribed to this channel and make sure the notification button is turned on so that you'll be the first to know once i upload a new video i will see you guys in my next video like always you guys should stay creative and remain blessed